covering the Johnny Depp trial broke. Covering the Dave Chappelle attacker. Now that's literally woke. <laughs> Man, I enjoyed reading this. So, apparently the attacker name is Zaya Lee, according to the press. Broke his silence. Broke his silence. Um, and reveals he was triggered by jokes about the LGBTQ community and homelessness when he tackled comedian on stage. Man, if you're triggered, first of all, if you're triggered about the fact that people are homeless, um, it's not the comedians you should go after. You know, maybe the politicians, the ones that are passing the legislation, which creates the homelessness problem. Like maybe, maybe you should have a conversation with them. And secondly, I love the fact that this mentality, which is pushed by American academics usually, and, and it slipped from there into Tumblr, into mainstream culture, to the enlightened blue check marks, and this ideology is that jokes are harmful. Right? Now, if jokes were harmful, wouldn't you think that the correct response to the harmful jokes would be other harmful jokes? Like, if someone slaps you, right? Like, you slap them back. If someone jokes at you, why can't you make jokes in return? And I'll tell you why. Because they know jokes aren't harmful, so they have to do actual violence to respond to that. Because they know violence is worse than jokes. So when a comedian cracks a couple of jokes, his response is violence because he knows jokes are not harmful. But actual violence is. Does that make sense? So the real problem is, if... We want a society where harm doesn't exist and we prevent it before it happens. Wouldn't the academics and the politicians and the journalists all be held responsible for this man's action using left-leaning logic? I mean, they are the ones that told this person that jokes are harmful and that it's appropriate behavior to try and tackle a comedian on stage while having a knife. So all of the academics, all the journalists, all the people that have said jokes are harmful should now be held responsible. But I guess we're not going to do that because the academics and the blue check marks, they like to set the rules. They would hate to play the game because the game is unfair and it's ridiculous. Some might even say retarded, but it's nice to create the rules for others, right? Like hold people accountable for the actions of others. Like if someone who's a fan of Dave Chappelle would have actually done something to another person, Dave Chappelle would have been held responsible. But when a fringe lunatic decides to tackle a comedian on stage because he was told that jokes are violence. And if jokes are violence, then it's self-defense, according to him. Uh, no one is going to be held accountable. You know, it's just the guy. It's not, it's not the academics, the university professors that created this ideology to legitimize suppressing the political opponents. Because that's pretty much what is going on here, right? Like... Uh, the ideology is so fragile that they have to go after comedians. So apparently the guy is now being charged with four misdemeanors. I am really shocked that he's not being charged with a felony. But hey, uh, apparently the misdemeanors are battery, possession of a weapon with intent to assault. I'm really surprised that this is like misdemeanor level. Like in Romania, it, it would grant you some good prison time. We, we call it the school of life because you go to prison and you learn how to behave like a proper person. But yes, possession of a weapon with the intent to assault, unauthorized access to the stage area during performance and commission of an act that delays the event or interferes with the performer. So uh, this lovely individual, as you probably have guessed, uh, has a criminal past. Apparently, let me see if he tried or actually did manage to, to stab his roommate, according to this. Um, accused of stabbing his roommate in the back. At a traditional housing program, generally reserved for homeless individuals. What a lovely chap. He pleaded not guilty. Yeah, but like, I believe all women, you know. 
Apparently, that's the way you, you believe the victim, right? That that's being pushed really hard right now. Uh, but all jokes aside, you know, th- this does seem like an unstable individual, and um, the fact that the media is not shedding more light on this story, like again, a comedian almost got assassinated on stage. Apparently, it's because Dave Chappelle was in Ultra Instinct and he was able to dodge the attack just in time. And there were plenty of people in the audience which interfered, as well as the security detail, which saved him. Yeah, I mean, this is not okay. Like, this is um, very interesting, considering that the coverage from Will Smith just slapping a man got so many headlines. You know, like, so many people talked about it, so many people were outraged. But apparently, like this... I mean, yeah, some people pointed it out that there were a couple of articles, but nowhere near the coverage of Will Smith. In fact, in fact, like I even saw people in the comment section of this saying, oh, this is because Will Smith legitimized violence against comedians. Like, are you fucking insane? Like, do you think like if the Will Smith event didn't happen, this this wouldn't have taken place? It's like this uh, individual was like, okay, you know what, Like, I, I want to assault this comedian on stage uh, because Will Smith did it, so that makes it fine. Like, what? And it's not even at the same level. Like, one is Will Smith slapping someone. This one is with the guy running up with a knife because of ideological beliefs. This is literally a terrorist attack, right? By definition, I'm not even kidding. Like, a terrorist attack is defined as someone doing violence in order to achieve political change. How is this not fitting that criteria? So, <clears throat> I, I also like the explanation. It's like, uh, his explanations are beyond bizarre. I identify as bisexual. It's like, okay, and that gives you the right to assault people with a deadly weapon? What does one thing have to do with, oh, you found it triggering. Okay. So, why didn't you trigger him in return? Why, why couldn't you snap a joke back at him? If it's so bad, if being triggered is so bad, why couldn't you just snap a joke back at him? I wanted him to know that next time he should consider first running his material by people it could affect. Hmm. You wanted him to know that, and you wanted to have that conversation while holding a deadly weapon and charging him at stake. Press X to doubt. I don't think you wanted him to know anything. I I think you wanted to make an example. I think you wanted to terrorize people from speaking out. That's what you were trying to do. And secondly... and finally, if you know you have these issues, like you, you are prone to anger when someone makes a joke. I'm really curious, like, if this person has a spouse, like a, a woman or a man, we don't judge, right? Being a progressive time that we live in. Uh, if his spouse makes a joke that upsets him, is this how he acts? Is this not a legit question, by the way? Like, uh, if is it not that an adult has to control his anger issues. Notice how the journalists are calling this toxic masculinity, right? Very interesting. Like, this actually would be toxic masculinity. Like, not being able to hold your shit together when someone makes a joke. And here's another uh, problem. If there is a fringe minority of the human population that is so fragile that literally gets triggered by jokes, Wouldn't it be more easy to keep those people away from jokes rather than to ban jokes altogether? I mean, think about it this way. There are people who get an epilepsy crisis whenever they get a strobe. Now, we don't ban strobing, right? Like There are video games which have certain action sequences or movies that have the action sequences which can cause the vulnerable individuals that are prone to strobing from having a crisis. But we do not ban those games from everyone. You just put a disclaimer. You put a label, right? So the people who have a strobe, they're the ones that should make their darnest to avoid playing those games or watching those movies. So in other words, we do not take away things from the entire human population because like a fringe minority of people have a problem. Like if you have the problem that you can't listen to jokes, what the fuck are you doing at a Dave Chappelle concert? Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.